Alright ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a very, 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 very late uh, field guide for Vermintits 2. Yes, so last time I focused on Bounty Hunter, that was <coughs> eight months ago, but this time I decided, you know, with all the uh, new updates and whatnot, I'd, uh, I'd finally make a Zealot guide, and... I'm pretty confident that this build is, well, it it can work on solo, on Legend, so it does the trick. Having said that, there are a couple things that, well, okay, a lot of things that have changed that I'd like to go through. So, first things first, uh, Bounty Hunter is a lot weaker than he was. Like with the with the most recent patch, uh, it, it sort of screws up his game plan because whenever you... Uh, get a kill it doesn't you know reset blessed shots what is interesting though is witch hunter captain is now really really good I'm, I'm not sure if he's better than bounty hunter but he's definitely up there i'll, I'll do more on him later but yeah I, i'm really liking the new uh the new witch hunter well witch hunter captain or whatever it is the just he just works really well but today yes of course focusing on my personal favorite class character in the entire game Zealot, because there is some shit you could, well, there, yeah, some shit you can do with him that just makes him an absolute monster. He's probably the tankiest character in the entire game, you know, the, uh, like, Slayer Barden is close, but, but no, no, Zealot just takes the cake for that sort of gameplay. Now, getting on to equipment, one of the most important parts. Now, I've spawned in, uh, basically all the equipment he needs through, uh, mods, just to make it easier to get the exact stats I, uh, I need on it. Uh, but yeah, so on the axe, we've got power versus chaos and attack speed. That plus swift slaying. You need swift slaying on uh, on the axe and the flail, basically, because they are just too slow and inefficient otherwise. The power versus chaos is very important. I've put the power versus chaos on the axe and the charm just because you want to get as much of that as possible. Because thanks to a skill he... I'll, I'll talk about it later on, but basically the ideal is you want lots of attack speed, Lots of power versus chaos, and then any crit chance you can squeeze in between that. Uh, yeah, so swift slaying, definitely a must. On the pistols, you, pistols aren't really that necessary. I just have armoured and skaven and barrage, just because it makes it easier to take out the uh, gas rats, warp fires, rattlings, things like that. Uh, and yeah, you, you, you won't need your guns apart from specials, more or less. Um, but barrage is a nice skill. I think you can probably replace that with whatever you want. On the necklace, you got 20% plus, uh, 20% extra health, which is very important for uh, Zealot or any tanky thing. Two plus stamina. You don't need that for blocking, you need that for shoving. Very handy. And Boon of Shalia, which is definitely required because the 30% increase in healing uh, also applies to temporary health. So whenever you gain temp health, it's 30% more of what you would have got before, which does some interesting stuff when you've got the right sort of talents put on which is you know just a, a nice little touch uh you know when it comes to having the extra health uh, what never go for curse resistance like even if you're you know you're planning on getting all the grims and whatnot don't go for curse resistance for the with this guy because you want low health more or less uh power versus chaos and attack speed again those are you you want you know plus 10 percent attack speed from the axe and this and plus 20 percent power versus chaos from the axe and this uh, the, you know, trait at the bottom, I've got Decanter, because that's my favourite, but you can put whatever you want, really. And finally, the Trinket, I've got Movement Speed and Crit Chance on, but you can replace that Movement Speed with, uh, probably Power or Super Recharge Rate, because that's just, you know, it, it, you don't really need to, um, have the Movement Speed, but you need the Crit Chance. The Crit Chance is very important. Grenadier, again... Switch it for whatever you like, it's just you need the crit chance. Whatever else is up to you. But I wouldn't suggest Curse Resistance because it, when you have the two Grims, it puts you at the, the perfect amount of health to reach a certain breaking point. And breaking points are when you get a certain level of damage that you can one-shot certain enemies. And with this build, if you do it properly, you can one-shot headshot the uh, Chaos Marauders. Or not Marauders, the... Um, you know, basic chaos guys. Not the grunts, the, the little skinny chaos guys, but the bigger ones. You know, ah, fuck it, I don't know. But you know what I mean. 
And yeah, being able to headshot, one-shot headshot those guys is very, very handy. It just means that whenever you're swinging into a horde, you kill everything. That's because of mainly uh, Fiery Faith. Now with, the, with this patch, uh, whatever temp health or low health or any health you have, uh, it will still... As long as it's not real health, it will trigger Fiery Faith, which is such a good change. So it means that if you're at... 10 HP, but you've got full temp HP, you'll still have 6 stacks of Fiery Faith, uh, which is absolutely massive. you also got Unswerving Strikes, eh, not really that useful, and Heart of Iron, which is your Get Out of Jail free card, more or less, because whenever you get uh, beaten down to trigger Heart of Iron, what you can do is you can pop a potion, because you're invulnerable for a few seconds, you can pop a healing potion, throw a bomb at your feet, drink a regular potion, in all that time, to, you know, get you set up again more or less so you'll be full health you'll have uh, all the enemies away from you you'll probably have a potion effect on so it's basically just you save all your resources for until heart of iron triggers then you use them all to save yourself more or less and then of course you've got holy further which is you know 20 percent uh 25 percent increased attack speed which is nice but the main thing i like about it is it's just a, a dash away you know it's just if you're in a sticky situation you just dash into a corner well not into a corner ideally uh, in a direction away from the horde, and you make a lot of space between you and the horde again. It also counts as a shove, more or less, so that if you uh, charge into a horde, say you've used all your stamina, but you need another shove, if you use Holy Further, it will count as another shove, basically, if you cancel it quick enough. So the way it works is, if you just uh, press F and alt away, you'll travel miles uh, unless you bash into a bunch of enemies. You can cancel how far you go by blocking mid-charge. So, you know, there's a lot you can do with it. It's very good. Going on to the actual um, perks and whatnot, though, he's basically, this setup is ideal. I don't think there's any setup that's better than this. It's 2-2-2-1-1. Two, 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 one, one. You know, it's uh, if you want to go with that. So what it is, is... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Just checking my equipment, making sure I got the right stuff. Yes. So it's Saint of Battle, which compared to the other two is just so much better. You know, you you get the plus 10% uh, crit chance with the crit chance on the trinket as well, which is very nice. The other two, kind of worthless. So always go Saint of Battle. Flagellant, best perk in the game, I think. Uh, Slayer's got a version, Foot Knight's got a version, but this one, uh, I mean, it's the same as those two, but... It's just so handy to be able to take half damage from everything. You just become a walking, talking tank. And whatever damage enemies do to you, you can usually out-heal it because they do so little damage when they hit you. It's just ah, really handy for when those stray hits just clip you and you just heal up uh, before the next one hits and you're fine. It's have to have flagellant. It's too important. Holy Crusader... Uh, I'd say Holy Crusader or Undying Further, just if you really want to shove everything to death, but Holy Crusader, the amount of damage you get when you're at low health and you land a crit, it's just absolutely insane. I've nearly, you basically nearly one-shot Chaos Warriors if you crit them in the head when you've got uh, Holy Crusade on. Uh, now, the interesting one with these two, the level 20 skill, the healing ones, is you never want to use Font of Zeal. Uh, repent, repent. People think this is the way to go. It's actually kind of shit because it only heals you up a lot, you know, a reasonable amount if you're killing high HP enemies. And you don't just you just don't do that very quickly. Sigmar's Herald, though, what I don't think people realize is you don't just get health off killing things. You get health off hitting things. So every hit uh, gets you one temporary HP. And if you hit five enemies at the same time, which if you're fighting a horde, you usually will, you get five HP. So if you're fighting, uh, you know, a horde, every single swing, more or less, will get you 5 HP. So you get 5, 10, 15, 20. You'll just heal up all the way while fighting a horde. And if you're having to fight a, a boss or a Chaos Warrior or something like that, you'll still be healing as you're hitting them. You don't need to kill them. You just need to hit them a bunch. And you'll probably get, I don't know, like 5 or 10 HP, depending on how long it takes to kill the, the Chaos Warrior. And when you kill them, I think it adds an extra one. So... It's 1 HP per hit and 2 temp HP per kill. So it's, you know, you can get 3 HP off of any enemy, more or less. So it's it's so much better for the long run, I find. I just, yeah, I really like it. And Shalia's Boon is what I think 
you need to to get that level of healing up. Otherwise, it's just kind of well, it you know works how it should. The Shallow's Boon really really helps with it. Now, when it comes to uh, the last skill, you've got Pleasure from Pain, Frother, and Blessed Fury. Uh, I say Frother is probably the only one you should go with, just because it it's you know you get to use your Get Out of Jail free card more often. Uh, Blessed Fury, if it was 10 seconds, I'd say take it, but it's only 8, so it's not really that much of a difference. It's pleasure from Pain, you don't really need it with the perks you're currently going on, so, you know, just stick with Frothler. It's the best way to go. Uh, what should I wear? Oh yeah, I've got, I'll, I'll link all the, uh, the mods that I'm using in the description. The main one you should know about is, uh, for solo runs, no patrols and no, oh, and, uh... 100% extra boss damage, just so you can, you know, reasonably kill them on your own. Ah, uh, just get the right game. And let's get off. So, what I'm going to do is show you the breaking point with the basic chaos enemies. You'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Hold on. Yes, I can't quite remember if it's four or five stacks you need, because the maximum uh, stacks you can get at Fiery Faith is six, but I can't quite remember if it's four or five that allow you to, to one shot. Well. Teabag a rat, of course. But whenever you shoot a rat, always teabag him. Good luck. Yeah, so just finding the uh, the right enemy to single out. Okay. Alright, this will do. Alright, so I'm going to try and just show you what a, a regular headshot does. Okay, so doesn't kill him, does a, obviously a lot of damage, but doesn't kill him. So he can still come back and, you know, bite me in the ass. If I take some damage. Right, so let's try four stacks first. See if this is enough. Uh, uh, Yep, Zealot. The only class that you just really, really want to take damage with. Ultimate Masochist. Right. Okay, let's try it out. We'll try and avoid hitting both of them. Okay, okay, so it's five stacks. Five stacks is what you need. Okay, let's try and not hit them both at the same time. Okay. And a crit. That sort of ruins the test, but okay. <laughs> Next guy. Right, this should be good. There we go. Yes. So when you're at five stacks of fiery faith, you one shot headshot uh, these guys, which is very. It's just so handy. It means that whenever you swing into a horde uh, of chaos, you will always kill something with with each hit, as long as you're aiming for the head, which you really should be constantly. So see what I mean there? The uh, it, it actually shoves them and deals a bit of damage. It's just, just going to be a game of a lot of touching back and forth, uh, shoving and dodging, basically. It is quite risky to charge straight into the centre of them. It's, it's best to like. Uh, how do I put it? Charge into the side of the horde, so you're not, uh, you know, completely surrounded when you do use your ult. See, even though I'm bad and taking uh, incredibly unnecessary hits, uh, doesn't matter because I outheal the uh, the damage they do to me. So handy. Uh, might as well go here. Oh, okay, boss. Well, this will be a, a good uh, example of. I guarantee you, I'll crit it in the head and. With um, whatever the hell the name of that perk is, you'll see how much damage uh, I end up doing to it. 
If I don't crit it in the head, I'm gonna be disappointed. Okay, that's 40. Ooh, look at that. 100 and... Admittedly, it's double damage, so... Uh, you know, it would be... 52 damage if I crit him in the, the head in the regular game, but... Still, it's a lot of damage to be doing. Look how quickly it's just melting. I mean... It would be half this speed, usually, but... You know, it's still only about two minutes. <laughs> and just like that, go on. Uh, okay, there's another one. Alright, what I'll do is I'll show off one more horde, and I'll play a separate one where I'm not testing or anything, and... Uh, yeah, just show off the, uh, the build at its best. I won't say anything, I won't, you know, I'll just... I'll upload it as a different video, a separate video, and it'll just be, uh, you know, just a true solo run. And you get to see the build in action, because I I have done it, I've completed uh, this map in solo before, with this build, which is how I know it's amazing, but, uh, yeah. I will, I will just show that off to the people, more or less. <laughs> you see how it shoves them all back? Yes, that's the, that's the, the extra shove. Uh, also, quick tip for movement is don't just constantly dodge side to side. Wait until something you see something swinging for you, and then dodge to the side. That way, uh, you'll pop, you'll have unlimited dodges, and uh, you know if you do fuck up, you'll still have your shots, which is very nice. So yeah, I'll uh, just leave this uh, build here as it is. I'll show the uh, the footage of the full run in a separate video which will be coming out just after this one hopefully and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed it try it out for yourself that's the main thing try it out for yourself and let me know if you find anything better because i'm com i i like this video because it works perfectly for me if, it, if you find something that works amazingly well as well ideally flail builds i love flails um yeah just let me know let me know in the comments let me know what you think yeah hope you enjoyed and uh, i'll see you in the next video Bye bye <laughs>